Not too bad, this is still a really great piece. You can see it's pretty, about a foot long here, a little more, nice one piece, and it's good condition, really no rot on it. So this will be a good one right here. Okay, so this is a really good piece right here. This is Crack Cat Polypore, and it grows primarily on the black locust tree, which is the tree I just spiked up. These trees are pretty easy to identify. It kind of has blocky bark, um, kind of cross-linked, and it's always like a gray to a light brown color. A lot of the black locust trees are dead or dying off. Um, and it's a, really, it's a really dense wood. It's kind of fibrous too. It has like a yellow to golden heartwood. So if you can identify the black locust tree, you'll be able to find these a little bit easier. Um, again, the crack cat polypore fung is super useful, one of my favorites, and they get really big too. I mean, this is a little bit further than 12 inches, um, but it has super healthy uh, benefits. I like to make a tea out of it. Um, it's loaded with antioxidants and anti-tumors properties, but really my favorite use is the tender use. If you kind of shred this up a little, it will extend a coal and uh, make it last like much longer. So I like to use it for like when I'm traveling a coal uh, from camp to camp or station when I'm working, doing woodworking projects and stuff. Uh, so let's go shred this up. This is a really good piece. Wow, that's amazing. So that's the cracked cat polypore. 
That's this mushroom. It's one of my favorite mushrooms. It's a conch fungus, and it grows on the black locust trees, um, primarily. Um, I don't think I've ever seen it on any other tree. However, there's been accounts of people spotting it on um, those species of trees, other locusts. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool, really cool mushroom. And don't forget, it's super medicinal, super healthy for you. It's loaded with antioxidants, and it has anti-tumorous, anti-cancer properties to it. Um, so I like to make my teas out of it. Nice little fire. So with that going, we're gonna run down to the creek real quick. It's just right down here in the valley. And we're gonna fill up on some water and go ahead and make a nice little tea. So let me go get the water and this should be fine right here. Perfect. So this is a great location to harvest some of this water. It's crystal clear and it's trickling down. The spring head is about 50 feet above me right here. And personally, I'm not ever super concerned about getting Giardia. For those of you that don't know what that is, um, it's an extreme illness that will make you really sick and it comes from the feces of animals. So if you don't know where the spring head is, and you're not super familiar and adapted to the wilderness, you might want to take extra precautions to treat and boil your water. However, for me, I've never gotten it in my 10 plus years I've been doing wilderness survival skills all over the country. Um, I'm really familiar with this land too. And I mean, the spring's right up here, so you're good to go. I mean, this water is amazing. You can't buy this anywhere. You really can't. It's as good as it gets. It's just so fresh. This is coming straight from the ground, straight from Mother Earth. This is fantastic. I mean, this is life right here, huh? All right, let's bring this back and um, go boil up some tea. Okay, so I just got back from getting the water. Gave a little more life into the fire here, so it's going to be picking up. We're going to go ahead and uh, shred up a little bit more of this and get our tea on. Okay, so the tea is cooled off now. Let's go ahead and try it. Oh, it has such an earthy flavor. It's really good. Really mild, slightly bitter, but overall it's 
really delicate tea actually it tastes really good and it's incredibly medicinal for you which is the major benefit of it and not to mention the fire use it has one of my favorite mushrooms right here crack cat polypore you guys go find you some of this incorporate it in your everyday life and you might benefit from it till next time I appreciate everyone watching really I really do um, chilling up here in my crib you know how it goes so uh, I'll be pumping out some more videos so you guys stay tuned cheers <laughs>